Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. Galvin with another post ER night shift update. I'm working this weekend. Sorry, I haven't posted in about a week and a half. I was at a medical conference, actually, the first time I've uh, gone to a conference in about almost two years now, uh, and was there all last week. But uh, I'm back now, uh, working this weekend in the emergency department. Thought I'd give you all an update. For those of you new to the broadcast. My name is Jeffrey Galvin. I'm a board certified emergency medicine doctor. Outside of Charlotte, I also run a functional medicine, precision medicine clinic in Charlotte. I still work part-time in the emergency department. I've been doing updates since the virus kind of reared its head about a year ago. Um, numbers in the emergency department are going up. Our, our volumes are going up. A lot of people were staying away for minor things previously. We've seen an, a reverse of that. However, we are boarding a lot of patients and um, it's not because of overwhelming numbers of COVID cases now, which it was a few months ago, but we're really having staffing issues. And I think a lot of nurses are just burned out after a year of this. They're, they're just, and they're having a very hard time staffing the floor. So like right now I'm, I'm leaving, I left my the incoming doctor with essentially two available rooms out of 45 rooms in the emergency department, which is crazy. Um, want to talk about numbers. Um, we crossed a milestone uh, sometime this weekend, a billion vaccinations worldwide. In the U.S., we're at 226 million. At this point, 52% of Americans have had at least one dose of the vaccine. 34% are fully immunized, which is great news. Unfortunately, what we're starting to see are those vaccination numbers have dropped about 11% in the last week or two, meaning that we were, I think, immunizing 3.4 million people a daily. Last week, this week, we're only immunizing 3 million. We're running up against vaccine hesitancy and all this other stuff. And if you follow the comments, you know, we've got these, you know, anti-vax people that believe crazy things that have no basis in fact. And no matter how many facts you show them, they don't want to believe it. And that's fine. And, you know, whether or not you get vaccinated is your, your choice. However, understand that you know, if we don't achieve, um, you know, a reasonable percentage of people getting vaccinated, we are going to be dealing with this pandemic for a long time. And what we're seeing now with these variances are more contagious and we're seeing more younger people getting sick. And if we're okay with that and okay with that risk, then, you know, don't get immunized. But, um, you know, I think the, after a billion immunizations, we've really shown it, it's been pretty safe. I have gotten some um, questions about the blood clot risk with the J and J and the AstraZeneca vaccine. And remember that those numbers are tiny. We're talking about, I mean, minuscule numbers. And an interesting study just came out that looked at the central venous, um, uh, cerebral central venous thromboses, which are very, very rare blood clots in this sort of big pool of blood in, in your brain. They, they're very, very rare. And what they're seeing with the AstraZeneca is about five cases per million vaccinations, people have developed these things. So remember they had about, uh, I, don't, I can't remember exactly how many, I think 220 cases out of 34 million. We've, and with the J&J, &J, they saw six cases out of 6 million um, uh, vaccinations. Well, interestingly, a study, uh, preprint study just came out that looked at the number of those same exact clots in people that have COVID. So they, they took um, data from the US, and so they took US case data, and they compared it to the, the reports from Europe of the um, you know five per million clots. And it turns out that um, your risk of getting that same clot if you have COVID is eight to 10 times higher. So if it's five, million, five per million, if you get the AstraZeneca vaccine, it's about 40 per million if you get COVID. So the risk of developing that very, very rare blood clot is eight to 10 times higher if you come down with COVID than if you get the vaccination. So um, the other thing I've been kind of, you know, people keep, certain people keep saying, you know, ivermectin is this cure and, you know, they use it and, and funnily, you know, very kind of humorously, I guess, in a, in a sort of a, a sick way. Um, one of these people actually, you know, used uh, India, Peru, Brazil is examples of countries that, you know, are using ivermectin with great success. And if you just search any of those countries, you can see what's happening. Their cases are ex exploding. The, the cases in India in particular are just astronomical. And 
the the death rate is probably never going to really be known, but it's it's devastating. They're running out of oxygen. Cases in Peru and Brazil, almost every particular st you know, country that this person uses as ex an example is showing exploding cases. So, you know, seriously consider getting your vaccination. We are seeing more and more young, healthy people coming in very sick with COVID. Now, what are we not seeing anymore? We're not seeing old or chronically ill people with with COVID. Now, why is that? Because they've all gotten immunized and we are not seeing significant numbers of immunized people coming in with COVID. And certainly we're seeing no serious cases in people who have been immunized. So all those, you know, the, what do we do for the first three months of this year? We've immunized all of the sickest, most high risk people, all the healthcare providers, all the sick, sick people, people who are chronically ill and the elderly. And guess what? None of those people are, are getting sick and dying with COVID anymore. The people who are left are the unimmunized ones and the variants, since they're more contagious and also cause worse disease, we're starting to see the sequelae of that. So, you know, my recommendation to all my patients is please get immunized. Um, it will, you know, it's safe. And remember about 30% of people that have COVID end up with long-term symptoms. And we're taking care of plenty of those in our clinic these days of these sort of long-term COVID cases. Uh, I will try to do another one tomorrow morning if I uh, can. Um, I'm a little tired after the night shift. I hope everybody stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, get immunized. Look out for yourselves, your families, and those around you. Stay safe. If you like me, please subscribe or like us on Facebook or follow us. Have a great day.